Mr. President, Excellencies, partners, our precious youth and children and friends, picture in your mind a child you love. Please hold that image in your mind for the next three minutes. Every childhood is precious. Children learning, playing, growing, and sometimes simply just being a child. That is precious. Every girl and boy has the right to a childhood. 30 years ago, the Convention on the Rights of the Child was a watershed moment. It made a promise to all our children. Nations responded. Countless children and young people have survived and reached their full potential, where otherwise they would have not. Children have grown, they have thrived, they've been empowered with dignity and protection. So, is the job done? If the job was done, I would have not met Esther in East Africa. Esther asked me if she could tell me her story. She also asked me to share her story with the world. Esther has endured female genital mutilation. Her family allowed her to be sexually abused. She was forced to marry a man who was described as being very old, in return for a dowry of just six cows. She ran away. Her family marched her back to her elderly husband. She was abused again, violently abused, sexually, physically, and mentally abused. The scars were easy to see in her eyes. Esther is just eight years old. This story broke my heart. If our job was done, there would not be millions more girls and boys like Esther still in the shadows. Our children, especially our girls, are facing untold hardships today, heartbreaking abuse and discrimination their lives destroyed by poverty and conflict. I know I have seen it. Their dreams and futures have been shattered to the core. Governments here today promised in the Sustainable Development Goals to leave no one behind. So how can we allow these atrocities to continue? All of us here today hold levers of power. All of us can pull those levers to make a difference and to close that gap. We need together to pick up the pace. Laws must be implemented in each and every country. We need to really listen, to really listen to our children and our youth. Are you listening? We need robust monitoring. We must invest in our children, in healthcare, in education, in social services, and in law enforcement. We must listen to and empower our children. And we must work together, all of us here. All countries need to protect our children and to protect their rights. For the sake of Esther and millions more boys and girls like us, let us act. Let's do it today and let's do it together. Thank you. I thank the Chief Executive Officer and President of World Vision for his statement.